Good evening. Today I'd like to talk about reading metric vernier Karipa with one-tenth mm resolution. Here in this photo we have one of these types of vernier calipers and as you can see here we have two scales. We have this scale which is called the main scale and we have another scale which is the vernier scale. So in order to read this caliper we should determine the reading of the main scale and the reading for the vernier scale and we should add up all of these two values as you see here we have what's called the least count of this vernier caliper which is simply one tenth of millimeter regarding the one tenth mm it has many names sometimes it's called resolution sometimes called graduation sometimes called least count sometimes called precision and sometimes called sensitivity of the vernier caliper let's understand how this value of a one tenth mm least count comes simply we have a simple formula to count for the least count for any vernier caliper and it is simply the division of the smallest reading on the main scale by the number of divisions on the vernier scale so as you see here the smallest reading or the minimum reading on the main scale is simply this value and this value is simply it is 1 mm so the smallest reading on the main scale is 1 mm and regarding the number of divisions on the vernier scale this is the vernier scale and if you count for number of divisions you will count for 10 divisions so now we can compute for the least count of this caliper by dividing 1 mm by 10 divisions so the value of the least count is simply 0.1 mm so this is the way how this value which is one tenth of a millimeter comes let's now understand how to read this type of vernier caliper as you see here in the tab we have the main scale so this scale is called the main scale and below here we have the vernier scale so first we should read the main scale in order to read the main scale we should consider the zero line on the vernier scale as the reference for reading the main scale as you see here the last line on the main scale before the zero line on the vernier scale is this line and this line is simply it is 21 mm so the main scale reading is simply 21 mm now we should read the vernier scale so in the vernier scale we have 10 lines one of these 10 lines should line up with one line on the main scale so if you check you will see that line number four on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale so line number four on the vernier scale is read as 0.4 mm so the reading of the main scale is 21 mm and the reading of the vernier scale is 0.4 mm so the total reading for this caliper is the summing up of these two values so we have 21.4 mm let's have another example here as you see here we consider the zero line on the vernier scale as the reference for reading the main scale so the last line before the zero vernier caliper is this line and this line is read as 4 mm so the reading of the main scale is simply 4 mm now we should read the vernier scale we have here 10 lines one of these 10 lines should line up with one line on the main scale 
So as you can see here, line number eight on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale. So line number eight, it is simply read as 0.8 mm. So the main scale reading is 4 mm and the vernier scale reading is 0.8 mm. So the reading for the scaliper is simply 4.8 mm. So this is the way how to read the this type of vernier caliper. Let's have these questions. What are the vernier caliper readings? So before having the reading of this caliper, let's understand these two scales. In the top here, we have the scale number one, which is the main scale. And in below here, we have the second scale, which is the vernier scale. So in order to read the main scale, we consider the zero line on the vernier scale to be the reference. So the last line before the this zero line is this line. And this line is simply one centimeter or simply it is 10 mm. So the reading of the main scale is 10 mm. Now we should read the vernier scale. As you can see here, line number seven on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale. So line number seven, it is simply read as 0.7 mm. So the vernier scale reading is 0.7 mm. So the reading for this caliper is simply, it is 10.7 mm. Let's have this second question. The same technique. We consider the zero line on the vernier scale as a reference. So the last line on the main scale before this zero line is this line. And this line is line number seven mm. So the reading of the main scale is simply seven mm. In order to read the vernier scale, we should determine the line which lines up with one line on the main scale. So as you see here, the second line on the vernier scale lines up with this line on the main scale. So the reading of the vernier scale is simply 0.2 mm. So the reading for this caliper is simply 87.2 mm. So as you see here, all the readings we get by using this caliper contains one decimal places. And this decimal place might be zero or one or two up to nine. Let's see this question here, and this is a special case. As you see here, the zero line on the vernier scale exactly lines up with this line on the main scale. And this line is line number six amma. So the reading for the main scale is six amma. And the reading of the vernier scale is simply 0 mm. So the reading for this caliper is simply 6.0 mm. See in this case, if we have a zero <coughs> if we have zero line on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale, Again, the last line on the vernier scale should line up with another line on the main scale. So this is a special case. We should take care of it. So this is the way of how to read the one-tenth mm resolution vernier caliper. Thanks for your watching. Goodbye.